hello guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be showing you the full breakdown of dr octopus arm effect inside of blender so i'm going to share you everything that i made that i do to achieve this length of visual effect so first thing i want to do is to thank you guys for your love and support you've been giving me these days really, really crazy i'm not expecting this really quick because we just eat 20,000 subscribers on youtube which is really really amazed me a lot i appreciate you guys each and every one of you that support me that subscribe to my channel thank you a lot for the support and your love so moving on to the video so first thing when you are doing this type of vfx you should look out for the movement not only the movement in the camera but the movement of the character you are adding this type of cg element into so as you can see that I have something a lot of things going on in this scene apart from the camera is moving mind you this is not only camera tracking but also object tracking i've read a lot of comments you guys commented on this video and trust me i read a lot of comments and i make a change on this so i know that the cg is not so blend with the with the character or with the live footage but i make a change i made it's better if you check out my instagram you will see that the one i posted on my instagram is way better than the one i posted on youtube so i'm going to post this also you will check it out and you will see that it's quite better than the first one i upload that made the composition more more pleasant and i think your comment helped me a lot so keep commenting and keep like share also so you can see this rig i made a lot of things to this rig so let's leave the rig for now let's talk about the tracking and the object itself so when you look let me just hide this so that i can have this in the same when you look at something like this you see that you are, we are adding this we are adding cg object to our to a moving character this guy is moving like he's bending he's bending his body you can see how he's moving it's not constant and it's thin and it's moving around so we have to track his body obviously but for something like this there's no way you can use like tracking markers to achieve something like this there's no way you can use tracking markers to achieve. so in this case what you normally do is called rotomation whereby you add a cg character to match the character of your live footage that is what they call rotomation so for this i don't need to do a full body rotomation instead i will only add the rotomation to where i think i need this i need to put the octopus arm on his back so that is where i need to put this and when you look at his back i already did so much of something that i think my work i want to tear this part of his back so that i can it can look like a pull out of his back but at the end of the day i can't do that because my computer is really really slow so mind you let me just turn on this to show you how slow my computer is so i will get a lot of comments also on my spec my computer spec and it's really really slow for me so let me show you the playback so when playing this 3d you can see that i have like two fps you can see even less than two fps so to animate something like this for me is really really difficult like i spend extra extra time doing this thing because i have to render this like a view render viewport rendering you can see here if you come here you can see the viewport rendering i have to do viewport rendering for me to be able to animate this and to check it because the playback is very very slow so this arm is very very flexible so let's talk about the arm for now so when you look at the arm you can see that it's display like a stretch it do a lot of things because that is actually how i read this arm for the flexibility i want from this because the first time i did this because this is not the first time i'm doing it so the first time i did it the type of constraint or rig i made for this is not actually for something that we stretch like this because let me just say even for the film itself in spider-man i think they cannot make the octobot arm more flexible than what i've made here because this is like i can tell you 100 percent flexibility you can do anything with this arm you can stretch it it doesn't matter where you are going to stretch it to it's stretchable and it increases this line you can see 
you can stretch anywhere 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 you can see my computer is lagging but you can see that it stretch anywhere and it doesn't affect it doesn't affect the geometry because this is how i made this so this is how flexible this is and when you look at this top here which is the mouth of this arm you can see wait let me see the hand not the mouth so when you look at i made a rig for it so for this rig also i make a lot of constraints happen here because it control one bone control everything and it follows each other you can see this is how i made it and i have a lot of constraints going on here which is copy rotation copy location copy limits all those things constraint if you have basic knowledge of rigging inside of blender you should be able to do this part for this one i use let me go back to 3d so let me show you what i use in the most modifier array modifier with cuff using as a spline so if you want this arm i will put the link in my description so on my patreon you can get it if you want it if you want to use a project you can also use it you can get it on my patreon so you should support me on patreon so you'll be able to get this so let's continue with our body track so for this what i need to do is to model is part of the body where i need to put the arm obviously so i do that then i apply some rig basically to it you can see when i click on the body you can't see any keyframe here in the timeline but when i click the amateur i made for this you can see in post you can see all the keyframe that i used to make this and what i do is to just make this as the parent of this back that i recreate you can see so it follows the geometry that is how i able to achieve something like this so this also is a camera tracking i did a camera tracking for the overall because i need to cast some shade for ambient occlusion light for it so that is why i do a camera tracking which is needed so you can see this is camera track the camera tracking is not like 100 percent but it works so i can't say i'm like a guru in camera tracking but i'm quite have a more basic understanding on doing camera tracking and i can do it more properly so this is the camera track you can see the, it's tracking well and also for the object it's not like because so i see some people are so confused that what did i use to do this body tracking because it's not body tracking it's rotomation you don't have to creep him to try and match his body movement and you can see that it's not 100 percent perfect when you look at it you can see that it's not 100 percent perfect and you just have to make sure it's good enough for something you want to use this for but if i'm using this type of rig for let me say a feature frame or a short frame I'll just have to do it more properly if I'm doing it for a client so I have to spend more time doing it just to achieve a better result but I think this is good for YouTube videos so I'm not saying that I can do it more properly but I have to spend more time and I just have to upload this and let me just say for the overall video I'm not like 100% happy with the result myself because I read a lot of comments and I'm just like that is what i can do for now that's why i just posted the video to see what you guys think and not just to showcase it but to see what you guys think and i get a lot of feedback on the most not most on the animation but most on the compositing side so i make a change and i remake it and i think that one the one i make is quite better so that is it's not like it's really really difficult you just have to do the rotomation put the arm at its back then no you have to do a lot of things in in masking which is in compositing side so you have to do a lot of things and there's a lot of youtube videos on how to do that so that is not like difficult to achieve you just have to do some basic masking and you have to and some people talk of the arm is too sharp you can see and what i do was to blow it in the compositing add a lot of blow on the compositing side so i can have a proper integration and i think the second one i made is quite better than the first one